lots of practice not hitting cones. I feel like I'm in downtown Denver. Did you get that vibe at all right now? Oh, completely. Not at all. No? Yeah, completely. I have a yes, I have a no. Yeah, this Cherry is definitely, Creek, is this that? Is definitely like Colfax. I love Denver. Yeah, Colfax. Oh, Denver, Colfax. Right? You should have at least another 20 people mad at me, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> We're doing good, whatever. Yeah, I haven't had anybody honk at me yet. I think we're doing great. Hey Tiffany. What? Have you ever paid for parking for a big rig before? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not if sure if anyone for, else has either. Do we pay for one or do we pay for two? <laughs> Did we have to hit that little button that goes wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. What if like in Texas instead of saying wait, it was like hold up a minute partner? Yeah. I'll stop now. So, um, tell me the kind of conversations that you were having with Ian, um, the terminal manager. What kind of conversation was it that led into like the office per position? Was that something that you had specifically asked for, or? Um, I did let him know that I did, but uh, we didn't have any specific conversation. My son and mine, our former driver manager, is now working in the, as a recruiter in the main office. So I reached out to Ivania oh, and yeah. told, her, like, told her I, was, I wanted to be in the office. Mm -hmm. and so she kind of advised me on what to do and how to, oh. how to search for jobs yeah. and, and that kind of thing. That's awesome. So, um, so with her guidance, I started applying for jobs in the office. Yeah, like just going online. Just going online yeah, and submitting yeah. my resume and that yeah. kind of thing. And then uh, I was coming back from home, uh, coming back to go on my home time, and I happened to pass Jesse and Alan in the parking lot. Yeah. And here, right? Turn right. Yes. Sorry. And. I had told told him that I was interested in going to work in the office at some point. Yeah. And Alan told me, hey, you know, you need to go talk to to Ian because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a spot opening up. Oh. Well, he didn't tell me. Alan gonna, Cox. Yeah, he didn't tell that me it was going to be his. his spot. <laughs> he just said a spot. That's funny. So I went in and talked to Ian and said, hey, you know, I heard there's going to be a spot opening up possibly. Go in this lane. The left one, yeah, oh, okay. sorry. And uh, I would be interested in Can you in make it. it through that little narrow bit? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, anyway, I just mentioned to him that I would be interested, and he told me to go ahead and do an application and all that, and he would uh, try to get me worked in for an interview, which he did. Um, Oh, no, actually, he didn't. I didn't get the, an interview for that. For that role. For that that role at that time, a, a DM driver manager position came open, oh. so I interviewed for that. Yeah. And uh, that didn't produce anything, so I just went back out on the road. Yeah. For how long? Um, this all transpired probably within about four months. So, so then. The safety position came open, and then we started from there. Yeah. But this was not Alan's position. No, it they had okay. hired somebody else for Alan's position. Okay. So, so I had I had uh, I had ended up applying for a driver manager, and then Alan's or, or interviewing for those yeah. two. So it took a little time to get everything squared away, really? and then finally. Finally, they allowed me to have uh, the, the Allen's position. Oh, and that's interesting. So um, that's cool. So it, it it ought to be fun. Yeah. I think it's going to be a fun position to be. Get to be home every night. Yeah, that's I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> so I lived in Alaska for three years. You lived in. Alaska for 20. Yeah, it was 19 and some months, so we call it 20, or I call it 20. Yeah, I would too. I think mine wasn't quite three years. I rounded yeah. up because of how yeah, cold it was. It's a, it's a pretty amazing place, I thought. Um, everybody should see it at least once. Yeah, that's exactly what I say. Um, Do you? Would you go back and live there again? No. No. I don't uh, think I would either. <laughs> my wife won't. Wouldn't. Yeah, okay. I, I could. 
you know, I have a lot. Of, I still have good friends there. Mm -hmm. I have my oldest son and grandchildren still there. Oh, okay. You know, so I, I would love You'll to be, be visiting. Closer. I'm sure then, and, unless they come down here. Yeah, in. What it has shown me is what my parents went through their whole life now because they were here and I was up there. Uh, and now I understand the torment they went through. Yeah. Uh, just but, being away, yeah, but, not seeing the grandkids. Yeah, right. Not just missing out on the, on the life, you yeah. know. But, uh, you know, Alaska is an amazing place. It's mm -hmm. beautiful, but it rains a lot. The yes. winters are, are a little long. <laughs> The mosquitoes are very large. Yes, they are. The bears are even bigger. <laughs> I don't think that the summer times are beautiful enough to make up for the winter times. Well, they're too short. Yes, for, very much. For me, the Phoenix winter is Alaskan summer. Mm -hmm. It's true. But like it's rainy, much longer. A little bit overcast. So. I just was always so upset because I come from, I was raised in Phoenix. Yeah. And and I was used to being able to wear like sandals and sundresses in the summertime and up there in the summer you're not wearing that like you're wearing some rain gear and you just didn't get used to it yet I probably didn't. <laughs> the locals were <laughs> yeah right I was in like two layers as opposed to the winter time I was in five layers <laughs> when the temperature hit 65 we were at the lake with the jet exactly. skis exactly that's the other thing that I noticed too so I'm kind of a planner we talked about you being one as well so I'm I'm going to plan out my day. If not like a week in advance, like at least that day, I'm going to yeah. map out, like I'm going to hit the gym. I may go to the grocery store, whatever. And in Alaska, you don't really know how the weather's going to be all the time. So when it's sunny that day, like you drop everything that you're doing. Oh, the sunshine. Yeah, <laughs> like let's have a barbecue. <laughs> 10 people are coming over. We're barbecuing. Like what? Yep. <laughs> what is this? So, it's yeah. insane. But it is so beautiful. Especially the summer days that aren't raining. Yeah. Which when it's sunny, yeah. Uh, and it, 75. My that parents. Happens. My parents came up one time in all that time. For two weeks, it rained every single day. Oh my gosh. You know. Hmm. And they didn't. They weren't real rain people. We grew up. We're from Wyoming. It's sunny there, like like it is in Arizona. So. Yeah, not very often, huh? But the. The, um, the farmers there, which a lot of people grow, like have their own gardens. Oh my gosh, yeah. So the fruits and vegetables there and the grass just grew like crazy. Yeah, no need to water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, From the all the light that you get in the summertime. Uh, we lived out in the valley out in Wasilla area and there was one house we lived in, the grass literally grew eight to 10 inches a week yeah. without watering it. Yeah. So regardless of what you're going to be doing, you are going to be mowing the yes. lawn. So. Hopefully it's gonna be sunny and pretty weather for you to mow the lawn. Yeah, <laughs> don't count on it though. What was your favorite city to go and visit when you lived there? Like to do like a vacation to? We didn't do a lot of vacation stuff. We spent a lot of time bouncing back and forth from Fairbanks. Oh, actually, geez, that's far. Actually, I guess if I had to pick a spot, I would be like down on the peninsula, yeah. uh, Homer, you yeah. know, down I was going to say that, yeah. Uh, my former boss has a fishing uh, charter that he runs out of Deep Creek. Okay. So we would like we like to go down to, Ooh, to his place. Yeah. Thanks, dude. <laughs> uh, we like to go down to his place and go fishing and, and that kind of thing. Like and dip netting? No, we go out on his boat and kind oh. of fish for halibut. Oh, yeah, my favorite. Um, and then in the winter, we'd go down there and snowmobile out of there. Yeah. Pole benders. Pole benders. Pole benders in Deep Creek, Alaska. <laughs> captain Greg, the best captain on the water. Shout out to <laughs> Captain Greg. Captain Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> he better. Uh, I, uh, those folks are great people. I uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Is that near Homer? Steep it's Creek? yeah. It's probably about 20 miles or so okay. north of Homer, I would guess. There you go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, I think one of my favorite places that we visited was Homer. I love Seward though, I absolutely love Seward, but Homer, it was such a cool experience, like going out on the spit, is that what they call it? Yep. Like going out on the right. peninsula. Yep. Um, oh my gosh. And there were sea otters everywhere. Yep. Oh my gosh. Like you obviously have caught on to how much I like animals. So seeing the little sea otters like swimming around on their back or like trying to open the shells, the right. like right. Clams, muscles, muscles, muscles and clams, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. They try to like, they put a rock on their stomach while they're swimming around on their back and just try to like break it over. It's the cutest it's thing. It's amazing that they're that smart. Uh, yeah, right? So. But and then so many bald eagles there too. The bald eagles are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just like scavenging on the yeah. beaches. It was. So, I was very lucky. So cool. I got to travel. I spent some time on the North Slope. Yeah. And I was able to go down to the Aleutian chain That's cool. to Dutch Harbor yeah. for a little Were bit. Were you working? Did you bring uh, a fisherman? I, no, no, oh. no, no. I, I had a little maintenance oh. company going on where That's I did some cool. window maintenance yeah. just over a weekend. But, uh, what did you do um, in, on the slope? I helped him with the shutdown, just clean up uh, some of the pump stations and stuff, wow. do the maintenance on it. Who did you work for when you did that? That was Vico. Vico? When was that? Oh man, that was back in... Ago. That was back probably 95-ish. Okay. Is I, that CH2M Hill? It, it, it is now, yeah. that, and that's who my, son, my oldest son works for now. Oh really? He, he works on the Good slope now. Good for him. What does he do? Uh, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> he's, it's I know like manual. He's he's studying to to be an operator, and I know okay. he's been training to be an operator. Yeah. Uh, but I don't really know exactly what he's doing. Have you heard of American Marine Corporation? Based out of Anchorage. No, I no. don't think I have. I worked on the slope when I was up there um, for an environmental company. Okay. Um, I just planned all the logistics for their crews, but. Um, there was another company called Alaska Clean Seas. I have. It's, yeah. You heard of that? I think so, yeah. yeah. It's um, a nonprofit that gets all of their funding from the oil companies that are up there, that operate up there. Uh -huh. So they just get their annual budget from them and then they promise to clean up any spills that any of these oil companies will have. Well, they, Alaska Clean Seas, in turn came back and would hire our crews. Oh, so okay. we were kind of like feeding them the crew that they needed so they didn't have to have that crew on staff all the sure, time. Sure, sure. So that's what we did. It was a really cool experience, obviously, working in the oil field. Yeah. And it was nice because I was able to have like pitch schedule like two weeks on, two weeks off. Right. So I could come back to Arizona and visit my family all the time. But it was so lonely up there. It was just like when you're up there, you're working 86 hours a week, right. if not more. Yep. So, work, work, work. That's yeah, a, that's all that you do and eat food. Yeah, yeah. that's what they say. Work and eat. So. And you can tell with some of them that they've only been working and eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, one of my best friends works up there as well, and then yeah. my son. And, that's you cool. know, and, and when I went up for the shutdown, I could have went back and, and went full time. Yeah. They asked me to, but I felt like it was more important to be home with the boys and try, exactly. to, try to be there for yeah, them. Yeah, that's why I decided, well, one of the reasons I decided to move back was I just need to get a normal career. Like, this is not a career that I want to do long term. I couldn't yeah. imagine being a mom and having to leave my children every two weeks to That'd be away be from them. Yeah. I, I know my son struggles with it because he's got two boys. Yeah. But, but How old are they? One just turned 13. Yeah. And the other one uh, is seven, I believe. I guess it's similar to like a trucker lifestyle, too. Similar, except they get away. two weeks off. Yeah, that is nice. See, I'm, I'm kind of a believer that for every week you're out, you should get two two days off just like everybody else gets. Yeah. There's, um, I think that that can be coordinated. I, it can, I think. But there's, we don't have that set up in the system. It's not set up, but yeah. if, if they work with the driver managers, it can, it can be worked yeah. out. The, the driver managers are so accommodating. As long as, if you come in and work hard and, and produce, be on time, be professional, they're yeah. going to do anything they can to help you. Yeah, it's true. You know, I feel like part of the reason I am where I am now is because I, I feel like I was one of the better producers. Yeah. I, I ran hard. I, I was 
nearly always on time. A couple times I've made mistakes, but you know, I'm human. Mm -hmm. You know, but nearly always on time. Most of the time I was early and I just, I was dependable. They knew if they give me a load that I was going to yeah. do whatever I possibly could to get it there on time. I guarantee you that they checked that out before they brought you into the office just to see like how reliable you were. Oh, I'm sure of it. Yeah, But, but I, I don't think they had to look. I think they already knew. Yeah, that's true because you worked <laughs> with them already. Yeah. That's a good point. So, but yeah, I'm sure they, they, they knew. That's and, cool. You'll have to let me know how your transition goes. So far, it's been awesome. The, the folks have been real patient with me. And, you know, I'm making baby steps. Today, I felt like today was almost kind of a milestone day. You know, I just was able to, to make some things function without stumbling too hard. Yeah. Didn't get, a bloody, didn't get a bloody nose in the process. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Your wife hasn't gotten sick of you yet, being home? Well, she hasn't voiced it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's coming. At least you're gone for most of the day. <laughs> well, she's working, right? Huh? So. Is she really? Oh, absolutely. She oh, yeah, works full time. Still, where does she work? Does she have her own? She leases a station from. Uh, um, <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Oh, um, is it close to home? It's up off the I-17 and and. Um, Cave Creek, uh, uh, not Cave Creek, uh, Carefree Highway, Carefree Salon. Oh. Does she have a lot of clients? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's been in the exact same place since we got here in, nine, in uh, 07. Oh, jeez, yeah. So she's That's been there cool. a long time. She doesn't like to move. She just wants to come in, do her job, and go home and oh, yeah. build relationships with her customers. Yeah. And, you know, all of her customers, her longtime customers, they just love her. She's being a hairstylist is what is that the proper term? Yeah. Hairstylist? Yeah. It's such a relation based business. Oh yeah. And I love it. Like I love the conversation that I have with my hairstylist, you know, like it's just it's cool. Because you're generally gonna spend quite a bit of time with them. Oh absolutely. If you didn't like their personality, you probably don't want to spend that much time with them. Yeah, she's been doing it since 88, 87. That is crazy. So. Sounds like she's been doing well, like financially speaking. She's That's always cool. done really well. That means she's good at her job then. Yeah, yeah. Is your wife from Dallas? She lived, she lived in probably as many states as I've driven wow. to. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but a lot of Texas, Louisiana. Okay. Time, but but she's literally. You said just, she's Cajun, right? Uh, pretty Ish, much. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. influenced Cajun oh, yeah. inspired she, she, living down there. She cooks very good Cajun, from what I understand. I like I said I don't eat it, <laughs> but everybody. Why? Could, uh, it's so good. It, uh, I think it's part of it's a texture thing. I would think. Like the rice or the boudin? No, the, the boudin. I've never really. I, I probably honestly have not tried the boudin. It's like sausage, right? And I don't do, yeah, I, I really don't do a lot of seafood. Oh, I love so, seafood. So, you know, like the crawfish Ooh, and yeah. the, and you know, the crab and all that. Oysters I don't, or fresh I don't oysters do any of down that. there. I, mm. You know, I, I, love for, I love shrimp. Sure. And halibut, and that's it. Halibut is delicious. <laughs> There's no more that's seafood. That's probably my favorite whitefish, <laughs> and I miss that so much from Alaska. <laughs> Beignets, you can't go wrong with that. I don't even know what a beignet is. It's like a little piece of heaven with sugar on top. <laughs> <laughs> is that the little round like tube? The, the little round tube thing? No, it's no. um like fr it's kind of like. Have you ever had a sopapilla? No. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of like fried dough, and then they put powdered sugar on top of it. Well, they serve it at Cafe Du Monde in oh, well, New Orleans. It, it, if it's, it's for fried dough, it's sure. Right? Yeah. It. Like, How can it be bad? It's like a donut. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, I would say I probably do like that. <laughs> I knew we should have gotten donuts for lunch. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's breakfast food. I will eat a donut any time <laughs> of the day. I don't, but I would love to. You sound like my so son Trent, we're driving down the road and he'll be planning his fuel stops under which one's got a Dunkin' Donut. In. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
<laughs> their coffee is good. I'm going to put it out there and say that their coffee is better than Starbucks. I truly believe in my heart that it is. Yeah, it's good. I don't drink coffee, but I have oh, yeah. heard that it is the best. So, What do you, do you get, oh, caffeine, soda, Pepsi, Coke? And tea. Right? I'm a teetotaler. You drink tea? I drink hot tea. Are you from Great Britain? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Um, tea time? I'm, I'm sure that went, no, there's no, none it? of this. I'm sure that came from my mother's influence. She drank tea. Yeah. And I and I have to tell you, I love the smell of brewing coffee. Mm, me but too. But I just never acquired the taste for it. Or when you grind it, like at the oh, store, yeah, it with like fresh so ground. Wonderful. It smells mm -hmm. great. But there's not enough sugar to make it taste good for me. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to, um, in Ireland, we went to a tea house and they had like, little tea cakes and like the little sugar cubes. I was like, this is ridiculous. And my friend comes in there with like 10 layers of jackets on because it was so cold. <laughs> and she turns around and all the teacups were like, clink, clink, clink. Oh, I was no. like, oh my god, <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> Funny, Did they but... say bowl and bowl? No. Bowl in a china shop? Bowl, oh yeah. Bowl. Bowl in a Not china a shop. Bowl. Yeah. Bowl. 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 <laughs> I can't say that word. Bowl. I thought you said you were from Arizona. Bull. <laughs> Bull. That's funny. Dude, this truck doesn't beep. It doesn't have the beeping, beeping deals. For what? Uh, smart drive. Oh, sure it does. Is that what it's called? Oh. I just haven't given it a reason to beep. Really? Really. I feel like um, some of the other ride-alongs that we've done, they beep at everything. Like that one driver that cut you off. Well, but we I the applied tent? the brake, which kept it from beeping. Oh, that makes you know, sense. There are ways around it. You, what, basically, what it's trying to do is to keep you from hitting anybody, but it's trying to remind you that maybe you're too close. Just keep a safe distance. Yeah, keep a safe distance. So if, if somebody was to cut you off and you apply the brake and slow down to create that safe distance again, then you're not going to have any issues. It's when you stay in the gas and, and keep oh. riding the bumper, the alarm goes off, you get uh, messages sent to the DDMs. Yeah. It's my job to watch those videos. What do you call them? Per performance counseling? Is that what you yeah, call it? Yeah, I think it is called a performance counseling. And then if you get, you know, you're trying to keep a low score, it's like golf. You want <laughs> under 25 points. Anything over that, and you don't. Is that get how it. bowling is too? Because my bowling scores are always very low. Well, nope. it depends on how you play it. Some people <laughs> play it that way. My wife plays it that way. <laughs> so how was how was your ride along with Jr. here? Well, <laughs> it was good. It was really fun. I'm really happy that we got to know each other a little bit better. And it's funny that we both lived in Alaska for. For a little bit of our yeah, lives. It is. You met another, what do you, you met another Alaskan? Alaskan? Yeah. Is that what they said? Neither like of Arizona? us were born there, but. But he we lived were, there so we long, he might as well have been. Yeah, we yeah. were residents for a little You're bit. a resident, he pretty much must have been, you know. Oh, well, there. anyway. So, how about you, sir? How, how did uh, how that go, JR? It went great. It has been fun. Yeah, how was, how was the. Uh, what was the name of the place that we went to? The uh, dressing room? The dressing oh, room. Oh yeah, the dressing yeah, room. Yeah, that wasn't weird, so bad, huh? It's a weird name for a restaurant. Yeah, and there was it no was, place to put clothes on in there. I'm it was good. Around. It was good. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back for the pointing. That's, that's, well, you, you can do that tonight on the way home. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, All right, well. So, but thank you guys, I really appreciate it. It was, a, sure. it was fun to do. Thank you for coming along. I, I hope that all of our drivers do well and never have to get phone calls from you, sir. I hope they do too. <laughs>